What's up everybody and welcome back. As you can see, we are on the road to 1000 subscribers. If you enjoy this video or if you just want to help, honestly, leave a subscription, you know, just just hit that subscribe button. We are uh, only 108 away from 1000. So, you know, if you just want to help, it's greatly appreciated. But today I am recommending another comedy romance. Well, actually, it's my first strictly comedy romance. Usually it's drama, this, that and the other. But today Today, I'm recommending Living with a Kunoichi, which is being written by Ponto Gotanda, and it's 20 chapters so far, and it is strictly, and I mean strictly, a comedy romance. Usually those two strict genres aren't enough to get me interested, but this one, this one is just way too fun for me not to be interested. So this manga is about the MC Kotaro. I don't know how old he is, but he's an Aiga Ninja, and the FMC, Tai, she's 17 years old and she's a koga ninja so if you don't know anything about ninjas all you really need to know is that these two ninja clans don't like each other at least they didn't like each other at least i think that's true it's true in this manga and it seems like it's been true in any of the other depictions of these two ninja clans they don't like each other so obviously since they're both ninjas the clans don't like each other you would think this would set up a kind of romeo and juliet thing but it doesn't instead what it sets up kind of a slice of life romance between these two ninjas because what happens is while Kotaro was a real part of the Aiga ninjas I'm not saying that he's not he is but while he was like a serious part of them in the sense of like I guess assassination missions versus now he's kind of infiltration missions with a side of assassinations I'm not gonna say he doesn't assassinate people because apparently he does but he's kind of more of a infiltration information gap gathering ninja now because when he was a part of that frontline kind of ninja group he ran into Tai. Tai is the Koga Viper because she just I mean she mercs everybody. She doesn't have like Viper powers. When she gets all serious and into ninja mode her face kind of looks like a snake but then she uses claws which obviously snakes don't have claws. Regardless she's the Koga Viper and Kotaro first meets her because they're sent on a mission and who shows up? Tai does. Tai I almost kills him, obviously, because, I mean, she's like the best ninja ever. Kotaro is not. Not that he's a bad ninja. He is not a bad ninja. This dude's super cool, but he's not as good as Tai. But Tai falls in love with him because he's fighting her and he's like, man, what a woman you are. You know, it's not a it's not a bad thing to die at the hands of a beautiful woman. And that was all she needed to hear. Fell in love with him after this mission when Kotaro was, he wasn't kicked out. I guess he was reassigned because he failed the mission, quote unquote, even though no one was was going to be able to succeed at it as long as Ty was there. So he gets demoted, I guess. And who shows up? Ty does. Why? Because she's in love with him. So she basically proposes to him that they should be together, live together. And obviously he was too afraid to say no because, you know, she could kill him at any time. And I know that this is starting to sound like a Yandere situation, but it's not. It's not. Is she a little, you know? Yes, she is. But that's because she's a ninja. It's not because she's just some crazy lady. But he agrees. And I don't I want to say he's like slowly falling in love with her because it seems like he does already like her just obviously not as much as she likes him but they're living together and they're kind of going through life growing up together and I say that with quotes because Ty's really the one who was just full ninja from day she was born so she doesn't know how to do a whole lot of stuff in the modern world Kotaro does because he's been there for I guess a little while longer he's older than her I don't know how much older they never say his age at least i don't remember but he does have like a legitimate job so i'm gonna take the safe route and just say he's like 20 17 and 20 that's you know may not be legal in some places but let's just say he's 20 but the story is really about them like i said kind of growing together learning more about each other him you know figuring out how to be with a girl because he's never been with one because he was a ninja all his life also her learning how to be in normal society and act like a normal person and not a ninja because she doesn't know that because she's been a ninja and this is obviously where all the comedy comes from but it's also where all the romance comes from is these moments
moments of him kind of explaining something to her and these moments of her doing something for him in this, I guess, old traditional way that he's like, man, I liked that. That was nice. Are there crazy ninja fight scenes? No, there are not. So far, there's not really anything of action or of sort. Will that continue on? I'm not 100% sure because the Aigas are still trying to get Tai, right? They're still trying to kill her. That way they can actually take on the Kogas without fear of the Viper. Is that going to happen? Obviously not. And at the same time, there are Kogas trying to kill Kotaro because he is just, I mean, he's an Aiga ninja. I don't really think it's because he's that important. I think it's literally just because wrong team fam. But so far, it's a lot of fun. It's cute. It's sweet. It's funny. Kotaro has a ninja squirrel named Sasuke. And yes, he is an actual Aiga ninja squirrel because Kotaro can control animals basically, which is super cool. Are they going to go into more of that? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how much they're going to focus on the actual ninja part or just keep it like ninja relationship stuff. Them understanding the world through a ninja lens. Kotaro trying to basically step back from being a ninja while at the same time he kind of can't because they'd probably kill him if he did. And Tai just trying to live her best life no longer being a ninja. Because they did enter into an arc where Tai is going to school now because she's 17 and Kotaro wants her to actually learn about the world, learn what's going on, have friends, have kind of a normal childhood life that I guess he knows he never got and that she never got, but she's still old enough to experience it at least a little bit. So we'll see where that goes. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be a big part of the manga. I think it's really just going to focus on them kind of slice of life comedy romancing it through their relationship, which I'm all here for. So if you like ninjas, if you like comedy, if you like romance, if you didn't like any of it, but you still want to help out, you can like the video, subscribe to the channel on our road to 1k, or you could check out any of the other recommendations in the why you should playlist. And don't forget to check out the podcast. Other than that, I will see all of you in the next one.